everyone, it's Bill Allen with Evolve Lab, and today I wanted to talk about getting parameters and setting parameters within Revit and the limitations that um, come with that. So one of the challenges we have is we cannot get an association of the parameter values of this door associated to the object it's hosted to, which is in the wall in this case. And so many times I've had the question, can I associate a fire rating of my door based on the wall that it's hosted to? And I've always had to say, no, you can't do that natively with Revit. But with the advent of Dynamo, we can now bend the rules of Revit using Dynamo. So let's take a look at this. Now, first off, one of the things to know is you will need to make sure that you have these parameters set up. Um, so we're gonna go to the Manage tab, go to Project Parameters as a prerequisite, and then we're gonna add a uh, parameter called Fire Rating, okay? And this is going to be a number parameter in this example. And let's group this uh, parameter under Identity Data the category that we want to associate this parameter to is going to be doors as well as walls. Now, you can um, coordinate this specifically at your firm. Many people like to do this as type-based. I'm just going to leave it as instance-based for purposes of showing this example. We're going to say, okay, we have our fire rating. All right, so now if we go to this door and I go to identity data category parameter, we do have the fire rating. So if I put in a one in here, you can see that is working. If I pick on this wall, um, this fire rating is right here. But of course, there is no correlation between the fire rating parameter of this wall with the fire rating of the door. Therefore, the limitation. Now, let's bend the rules of reality with Revit using Dynamo. So manage tab Dynamo, I already have it open. Um, so here's the canvas. And so what we're gonna be doing now that we have Dynamo open is we're gonna be grabbing all elements of category, okay? Uh, specifically, we're gonna be grabbing the doors. So what we're gonna grab is we're gonna say the categories node, and let's look for the doors. We can do a, a D for shortcut there, there's doors. And then we can do all elements of category, all right? Now the reason we're doing this is because we're actually, there's gonna be a node here downstream that if you do a right click on your canvas for host, get host, okay? So we can actually get the host of our doors here. So if I hook this up and I pin this, these are all the walls that are associated uh, that the doors are hosted to. Now what I wanna do is I wanna get the parameter value fire rating from these walls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the element.get parameter value by name, okay? And the, the parameter name is going to be fire rating. Now I'm using a code block here. Uh, it's just quicker, quicker, you can double click, put it in quotes, um, and then we can get the fire rating uh, value from these walls, okay? Now the thing we wanna do is we could do one thing here. Now we could just push this directly in uh, using the element.set parameter by name. Grab this, it's too far down. All right, um, and that is going to be all of our doors, okay? So these are the doors that we're gonna be setting the parameter value from the wall to. And the parameter name is the same, so I can actually just use fire rating uh, for that. Now, this is where it becomes different. And what we wanna do is let's change this from automatic to manual real quick for this exercise um, because we don't wanna push these in just yet. I was doing a little bit of research. Again, I'm not a code expert, but I did see that uh, many times the door rating is uh, three quarters of what the wall rating is. So if your wall rating is a four hour rated wall, typically your door is gonna be a three hour rated wall. So what we can do actually is create a multiplier from the wall rating of 0.75. So if we do a right click and look for the node, the multiply node here, and then we can actually multiply this. Um, if we do look for the number node, and here we can actually multiply this times 0.75. That gives us three fourths of the rating. All right, so if I get the parameter value by uh, name here, which is, uh, let's say two hours, uh, this will give me a one and a half hour rating. And then I can then feed that into the door value. And then now 
if I go ahead and bring Dynamo just a little bit smaller here so we can see what's going on in the Revit ecosystem. Okay, so now what I want to do is show you that in here, let's, let's just zero this out. This door has a one in it. I'm going to zero that out. And if the door, if the wall has a two, the door after we run the script should have a 1.5. So if I run this, we do get the 1.5 represented in here. Now, the one thing we are getting is um, some null values because we do have some of the walls that uh, do not have a fire rating. And so that is the reason for the null. If you want, you can use a remove uh, null uh, or replace null uh, from the clockwork package. Um, and so this will actually take those numbers and then we could replace that number with a zero um, therefore keeping the coordination between uh, the sequence between our walls. And then now if we run this, this actually will resolve because now we've, we've changed those null values from um, null to zero. Um, but now, as you see, if I do have this fire rating for this uh, wall, if this is four uh, for the wall and I rerun my script, the door now has a fire rating of three. So that is how you can bend the rules of reality with Revit overcoming the limitation of the parameters not talking to each other. We can use Dynamo to bridge the gap. Very simple script, uh, but very pragmatic. Hope it's useful for you. Uh, hope you guys have a great day and a blessed week. I'll talk to you guys soon.